everyone, it's Casters here, and it's time to play some more Ark Survival Evolved. Oh, oh, oh! Oh man, oh man, I am amazingly, amazingly excited. Do you guys know why? Well, of course you don't. I haven't told you yet. Stuff has been happening, guys. I've been hunting a bunch this weekend. Like, a bunch. And look at this. We are level 80 and almost level 81. So that means we can make a Quetzal Coatless Platform Saddle! Oh my gosh, I'm so amazingly excited. We get to finally do an airbase kind of a thing. So, before we get into making the platform saddle and all that goody goodness, um, I want to show you guys a little bit of a clip. While I was doing hunting this weekend, we had kind of a significant fight. I ran into an Alpha T-Rex, and not any and not any Alpha T-Rex. This was a 120, guys. Like, that is a big dino. That's as big as they get. So, BRB is super quick while we watch the, the Alpha T-Rex killing. And then we'll get back and do some saddle building. Bam! Oh man. That is a male Alpha T-Rex 120. I don't even know about this. Holy crap, me and Logus are here. We're on our Quetzals. I gotta take my spyglass out of my hand. We've been doing some hunting on Carno Island here. I've been trying to get some levels because I want to get level 80. For platform saddles and this big guy spawned. OMGs. So I'm a little freaking out. But I think if we stay high enough, we might be able to, like, you know, hit him. Alright, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up. Ah! I'm thinking that um, if we just stay up high enough, we can kind of pick at him without getting hit. You know what I mean? Um, like right here. Come on, Quetzal. Let's do this. Chiquaqua! Attack! If we can take out the Rex buddy first, that'll be best. Because that guy is boosted by the alpha buddy. Alright, are we taking any hits? I don't know what kind of damage this guy's gonna do. Hopefully we don't lose. Oh my gosh. Quetzal, attack! Oh my gosh. I'm kind of freaking out. This is the first um, alpha T-Rex I've found since turning up the settings. And it is the first 120 alpha of anything I've seen, so this is, like, kind of scaring me. Chiquaqua is, like, level 50. She's not, like, the highest level bird. Um, really quickly, let's pop up here, gain some stams, and let's drop some pants. I was making a bunch of pants because I just had way more hide than I could ever know what to do with, so I figured instead of just dropping all the hide, I'll just make some pants. So I did that. I <laughs> got some XP from that. Dropping all the pants. We just rained pants on an alpha. That's awesome. I don't know why that's awesome, but it is. All right, we're back at the full stamina kind of things. And, oh, I don't want to get in his face. I want to stay away from the face. But we got to do just, like, consistent damage. So I think if Logus and I just kind of keep switching off and... Oh, he's going after the other Rex. What level is the other Rex that it isn't down yet? We got to take that thing out. Chiquaqua, attack! Chica! 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 Come on. Come on. Go down. Peace out. Peace out. Chiquaqua's up to about 548% damages. So that was a level 96, Rex. OMGs. Alright, I'm gonna peck at the alpha while Logus regains some stamina. And then once he comes down and starts attacking, I'll go regain stamina. I think if we do that, we can kind of keep a nice, even damage kind of thing going on. See, this is awesome. That thing can't even hit me, and I'm damaging it, so that's cool. That's cool. I really wish I had, like, a super Quetzal right now. That would be pretty amazing. Instead of, like, a level 50 Quetzal. Alright, so Logos is here in the attack. I'm gonna get out of his face. We're gonna come up here and <laughs> regain some stamina while he attacks. an intense battle when the battle music is off and all you can hear is the goose going like quah, quah, quah. <laughs> like omgs they don't sound like the most fierce kind of warriors um but they're amazing i love quetzals they're like they're total game changers this would be so different if we're on argies and needing to um like go land on cliffs and stuff like that to regain our stamina the air thing is amazing, and that's why I want to get to 80, because once we have that Quetzal platform saddle, 
We can just like live in the sky. It's gonna be amazing. Come on, Alpha Rex. Meet your fate! It's time to meet your maker. Go down. Double Quetzal attack action! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh! He's getting real bloody. I think we're doing a good job here. Alright, my Quetzal's at about half stams. Once Logus comes down, I'll go regain. It's better to be, you know, I think it's better to go and regain when you're just under half than waiting until last time. Like, we were almost out. Oh, we took a bite. He didn't even do that much damage. He's like, he's like not even that bad. All right, here, let's jump off while he's doing some attacking. Oh man, we're doing it guys. We are stinking doing it. You are going down, Mr. Alpha. Can I shoot him while my bird regains stamina? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can't handle the, the cast ninja. <laughs> I love that stinking mask, it's amazing. All right, we're back at full stands. Let's do some more attacking. We gotta take this guy down. We've been fighting him for about seven minutes. He's getting really bloody though, so I think we're doing amazing. There, there we go. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, look at how bloody he's getting. Come on, go down. Yes, we're kicking his butt. Oh my gosh, 120 Alpha T-Rex. I can't even believe this. Could you even imagine if you could tame these stinking Alphas, how OP? I guess that would be a little too OP because you just totally win the game. Here, let's handbrake. Can he bite us here? It's like I'm shocking him with my attack so he can't get a chance to bite. <laughs> it's amazing. Yes, yes. Oh, I gotta check his inventory. Like, let's not harvest him yet. Oh man, I leveled up, guys! Oh, level 79! Alpha T-Rex trophy. Ramshackle hide. <laughs> Journeyman hide. What the poop? Journeyman hide. A primitive crossbow. Come on, that should've been, jur that should've been Journeyman. Note on Ramshackle. Okay, the rest of it's just kind of garbo. Um, oh my gosh! Yes, we took out a 120 Alpha T-Rex! This is absolutely awesome. I feel so cool right now. I love you, Quetzal. I love you, Shquaqua. You are so amazing. Oh man, can you believe we took out that Alpha T-Rex like it was nothing? Oh my gosh, Quetzals are absolutely amazing. So yeah, we took that guy out. It helped us level up. And I think we got like two levels on the Quetzal with that thing. And it was absolutely awesome. So now, what we gotta do, guys, what we gotta do. We're gonna come over to our Engrams here. And I think... Yeah, I did just, I learned both of them right after the fight because I was so amazingly excited. And it is pretty expensive to learn. So if you're trying to learn your Quetzal platform saddle, you have to know the normal Quetz saddle first, which is like 44 Engram points. And then for the Quetz platform saddle, that's like another 80. So you're talking 124 points to learn both saddles here. But that's totally cool. That's totally cool. Here, let's get out of this. Let's shut the door. Come over to our smithy and go to saddles. What do we need? Silica pearls. All right. I think I have some of those hanging out in the fabricator. And I need to make two of these saddles since Logus and I both have some Quetzals going on. Let's see. There's our silica pearls. I'm not going to have enough to make two. That's totally fine. We'll just make one for right now. That's fine. We'll go out to the snow biome later, and then uh, I'll get everything that's needed to kind of make one for Logos here. But, oh man, look at this. This is a big recipe. <laughs> the Quetzal platform saddle is not a joke. We need 620 hide, 400 fiber, 180 metal ingots, and 220 silica pearls, and 120 cement and paste. All right, we got this. Let's craft the item. We're probably going to get a bunch of XP from this. Oh man, it takes forever to craft. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys had an amazing, amazing weekend. I had a really good weekend. Got to spend a lot of time hanging out with the fam and Logie. And everything is cool. Primitive Quetzal platform. Weighs 20. Equip a Quetz with this to ride it. You can build structures on the large platform to make a mobile base. Oh! I'm so amazingly excited! 
So we got our Quetzal platform saddle in our inventory. Oh my gosh, guys. It's like stinking raining right now. I don't even care. Let's get up to the Quetzal. Shikwakwa. Are you ready for this? Okay, we'll just put her normal saddle in there. Oh my gosh. Is this true? What happens when we get on this? I have never... <laughs> We're on a Quetzal platform saddle! Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Guys, guys, this means we can take tribe mates with us. We can bring tribe mates with us to do things now without being, like, super scary. Remember when I fell through the Quetzal with Dills and totally, like, died? Yeah, that was the thing that happened. So, yeah, we've got this going on. Oh my gosh. This is too small of a, of a saddle, first of all. Okay, because, like, see floating death? Look at how magnificent the floating death is. That's a big boat, right? This Quetzal platform saddle is going to need to get really big, too. And I think I want to do that with, like, metal ceilings. Just kind of build up a nice little thing going on around here. Sort of make, like, a house, an air house. If that's, like, a house boat, then this will be a Quetzal house. <laughs> I don't know. And the, 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 like, possibilities are endless. I'm so amazingly psyched. We'll be able to, like, put fridges on that, a forge, uh, industrial oven. Like, we could do so many things and just have complete mobility on the thing there. All right, so. Metal walls. I have 34 metal walls, and I bet you I'm not going to have, like, anything that I need to make, um, some ceilings. I want to make some metal ceilings up super quick. Do I do that in here? I think it's right in here, isn't it? Metal. Oh, those are like super cheap. Are you kidding me? Those are like pretty super cheap. That's amazing. Um, oh, this can only be crafted at the smithy. Why is that hanging out in here? I'm a silly goose. Um, I think I might need some polymer. All right, all right, all right. So we need to craft those at the smithy. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was totally thinking that we had to do that on the fabricator. It only makes sense to me if you have to make your armor there. That uh, That's where other things would be made. So I'm going to make two ceilings for right now. See if we can stick those to the platform saddle or if we're going to need to make a metal foundation first. All right, let's take these two guys. Doop, doop, boop, doop, boop, boop. No, no, no. Don't become knight. That is not allowed. Um, no. I don't want to build it to my own thing. Okay. Okay. I can't see. I can't see. Let's land the quets down here. Super quick. Okay, it does look like I am going to need to put, like, a foundation on here. Like, a metal foundation to be able to pop on some ceilings. That's cool. That's totally cool. I think we totally got this. Now, do we have everything we need? What do we need to make a metal foundation? All we need is 50 metal ingots, so that is not even hard. We have a bunch sitting over here in the fabricator. Bam. Can I carry 200? So, here's a qu Okay. I can carry 200, right? Well, I can't carry 200. That's the thing. But I can chuck it across the room like a beast. <laughs> you guys think that's funny, too? Because I don't know how it's possible. How can I throw that metal so far, but to move with it in my inventory is like, nah, not gonna do it. All right, let's craft up one foundation. Do I want to do more than one foundation? Should I see how many foundations I could fit on there? Yeah, we'll do it. It's whatever. It's just stuff. It's just resources. We can always get more resources. I'm not even worried. Bam. Give me the one more. <laughs> Sweet. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. She's down here. All right, so now we got a couple foundations. We should actually be able to build on this a little bit better now. Um, let's get our foundations on our inventory. Like, no? No, 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 no. Okay, there. It was just lagging. So I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> Chiquaqua, quit moving. Quit your moving. I'm thinking maybe we can get them three across. Where should our first... Maybe we could get six... Oh, wow. Shaquaqua, are you that strong? Could we get six of these on here? 
I'm not sure what's going to happen, really, with her weight. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult with her moving. <laughs> what the heck? Is this? Would this be easier if we fly you? Maybe a uh, handbrake? Well, it seems like we're going less side to side now. Oh my gosh, arc problems. Um, and I want to make sure I give myself enough room to, like, get back on the quets. Alright, let's do this. Oh, jeez, it's so hard when it's all floating. <laughs> I can't get up. Okay, there we go. What if we do this? Oh, this works a little bit better. This works a little bit better. There we go. Gotta use our old friend, the alt trick. Make sure that we're on here correctly. We can't be messing up, guys. This is super important. Is that straight? <laughs> it is now. It's good enough. Now I'm just realizing I totally probably didn't even need to make all these foundations. But it's like, it's whatever. If we're gonna have an airship. Can we attach this to the side of this one? Ah! This is a little tricky. Oh, come on. Give me a snap point. Why... You see how it's, like, giving me this weird snap point? Why won't you snap to a thing? Okay, maybe that won't work. Do we need to use ceilings? The ceilings will attach. The ceilings definitely will attach. Um, but I really want to get another, um, foundation on here. Okay, so I can't actually put that other foundation down. It looks like I will have to do ceilings. Oh, and they're gonna snap up higher. Do you see that? So I could, like, coat the whole thing in ceilings to make it all one level. Otherwise, I've got this weird little funky hitch happening. Why is that happening? <laughs> Alright, so we got this. I want to get at least two more on the other side. And I'm not sure if I want to go wider than that. But I definitely will have to get three going across the back. How is this even looking? OMGs. Ouch! Let's go to Gamma 3 so we can see a little bit better. Oh my goodness, Shaquakwa, you look ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hopefully I have enough stuff to make, um, what do I need? Five more ceilings? Let's see if we can make five more ceilings super quick. And something I will definitely need to check out is the Quetzal's weight. I have no idea how much all this stuff is going to weigh. Grab two hundo. And now we cannot move. Okay, let's check this crust floor. Bam! So I'm guessing that the Quetzal is probably getting weighed down by all of these structures. So I'm not sure. Maybe I won't be able to go, like, too amazingly big. It might end up, like, weighing down the Quetzal too much to be worth it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Where's the metal ceiling? Oh, I guess I actually need the blueprint for it. So that's three more. And we needed five more, right? Let's make three. What do we need? Cementing paste. Do we have more in here? I think we got more cementing paste, right? Cha. Perfect. Now we can do this, and I think we can make our two more ceilings and totally have it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the airship is happening, guys. Bam. We're getting some nice building XP from this, too. You get more XP the harder the recipe is. Like, if you're crafting, like, a thatch building, obviously you don't get very much. And then you get more XP for wood, even more for stone. And then kind of the best, the big cheese is when you uh, are crafting up the metal kind of stuff. All right, Shaquakwa. You have to come down to me. Ooh, she's going to run me over. All right, let's land you super quick. It's so weird how much they move side to side when they're landed. All right. Man, I'm super bummed I couldn't fit more foundations. I should have just tore it down and... I, I'm almost thinking I should have seen if I could get at least two wide on there, because that would just allow us to build a little bit more. But, you know, this might be good. This might be, like, a good manageable size for the Quetzal. Let's, what's her weight looking like? So we are up to 209 weight on the Quetz. And I was somewhere, I think, around, like, 149 before when I had just put the saddle on. Let's fly her a little bit. I have no idea what this is, how this will affect me. So... <laughs> Are you guys kidding me? Are you guys kidding me? This is amazing. Does it affect our fighting ability at all? Like, can I still do this? 
Oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so awesome. Look at how crazy this looks. This is <laughs> this is absolutely insane. The last foundation's totally like hanging off of the back of her. <laughs> now I do have an idea. Oh man. Guys, I have a stinking idea. We're gonna land super quick and see if I can do this. Um, right when I saw the Quetzal platform, like when platforms started, I had this idea in my head, like, oh crap, we forgot the Quetzal on no 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 no. Mayday, 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 major disaster. We forgot her on follow. Okay, we will repark. Re get off the Quetzal. This time we will hit the U key to unfollow. And we're gonna go check out the vault super, super quick. Oh my gosh! Guys, I'm feeling a little bit peckish. I gotta eat some food. I gots to eat some food. Alright, so let's pop over here. We've got a bunch of wood. And what I wanna do... What I was thinking is with these, um, whatchamacallits... With these Quetzal platform saddles, I was thinking that we could maybe... Make it so we would never have to land them. So say there's like a drop or there's a cave you want to go into and you want to leave your Quetzal up in the air while well, that's going on. I was thinking that this might work. So we've got a hatch frame. Let's get some ladders. Oh, I guess we'll just craft three. We'll just craft three for now because that's all we could craft. Hopefully this isn't one of those recipes that gets heavier as we craft it. Okay. Alright, alright. And what I'm thinking... I'm using wood because I'm not sure how this is going to work, is that we could have a hatch frame with a ladder coming down from the Quetzal and like we would not have to land the Quetzal in a dangerous thing but still be able to get up to it. So probably right off the back of the middle there, huh? Oh, it said it would do it. Did you see that? But it... It turns green for a second. You saw that, right? And we're within, doesn't it have to be, like, I guess we'll go off the side since it didn't want to go off the back. That's whatever. Oh, and you need a foundation support for a ladder. Did you know that? Alright, we're learning all kinds of new stuff today. And we got one ladder. Two ladders. Now what my question is, is how many ladders could I add? And are they going to just, like, clip into the ground? So if we wanted to, like, oh... Come on, buddies. Let's go on a little flight around the world. And then they could just climb right up the ladder and be up here. You know what I mean? So let's test that. I want to make a bunch more ladders super, super quick. And then I want to fly the Quetzal up into the air and see if this whole idea is going to actually work. I'm going to be so happy if it does, guys. Um, 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 what do I need for a ladder? Oh, I just need some fiber. I just need a little bit of fiber. That's all we need. Bam. There we go. Craftable. Sorry about the super bright gamma. It's night. There, we'll make like six ladders. That should be perfect. And my hope is that the ladders aren't going to matter. I'm hoping I could like have ten or so ladders coming down. And still be able to land the Quetzal if I want to. You know what I mean? Um, so let's try this. Let's bring Qua Qua up into the air. Oh my gosh. This looks like a science-defying piece of magic. <laughs> this is amazing. We'll come over to our scary hatch frame. I might need to put some railings up around it. It's a little scary. And then we'll climb down. <laughs> oh geez. Her wing knocked us off to the side. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, because we're on our wing right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to get on the ladder. No, no, no. <laughs> qua, qua. Okay, redo. Demolish this. I know, it's whatever. I lost all the ladders too. It's okay. We'll make it. And maybe now that we're up in the air, maybe her little like wiggly jet engine tail will be out of the way. And we can actually play- yes, that's what I wanted. This is what I wanted all along, Shaquaqua. Thank you for cooperating. Oh, crap! That was not what I wanted. That's a trapdoor ceiling. Um, 
Wow, building on a Quetzal has its challenges, that is for sure. Okay, cool. Oh, crap! Ah! <laughs> Let's get the Quetzal back down here super quick. Now I think I got this. We got the uh, platform coming off the right thing. We just gotta get rid of one of these ladders. Oh my gosh. Her butt... Her, her giant air base sticking out in the air off of her butt is amazing. Alright, here we go. Now do we got this? Can I reach this ladder to demolish it? Wood ladder demolish! Yes! We're amazing. Oh. Alright, alright. Here we go. Quit moving, Shaquaqua! No! <laughs> could I just knock her out so I could just finish building? Okay, so it looks like the ladder is clipping into the ground. Can we... How many is there how lo, how low can the ladder stick into the ground before we have a problem? <laughs> Cuz like if I get right over my base now and I go like this, I should be able to just pop right out of the saddle. We're at a little bit of a tilt here. That's kind of scary. And then I should be able to get on the ladder and now we're not getting hit by wings and all that kind of stuff. Ah! We did take a little damage. That's okay. <gasps> oh. We won't be able to do the ladders down any further because of the fact that we run out of foundation support. Really? Really? Well, I guess that's the end of that plan. That's totally cool, though. That's totally cool. Oh my gosh. Guys, we have a Quetzal platform saddle. Shaquaqua is officially a beast. She's an amazing, amazing beast. Come here, Shaquaqua. Shaquandria. Oh my gosh, you look amazing! Oh man, look at how amazing this is. We finally stinking have it, guys. We finally have it. We have the Quetzal platform saddle! Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, it is absolutely amazing. Um, now we can do so much stuff in the game with like tribe mates on a Quetzal back. So I'm absolutely, absolutely psyched. Um, next time, I think we'll get into some mind wave kind of things and learn some of the other kind of new stuff that I haven't gotten a chance to learn because I don't have the engrams. Um, but all right, that is going to do it for today, guys. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will too. And this is Casters out. Up a tree. Clinging to a cloud. Up a tree.